Hey YouTube, this is Abraham Moeller. I hope you all had a wonderful Thursday evening and are enjoying your Thursday evening or Friday morning depending on where you are. Tonight I'm very excited to share with you what I found about a uh, good text-to-speech option for Linux. I got interested in this because my boss recommended a really quite uh, famous book called uh, Godel Escherbach and Eternal Golden Braid that's not just about this famous uh, logician, Godel, artist Escher, and musical composer Bach, but really uh, from, from what I've, I've read about how meaning can develop from combinations of seemingly meaningless symbols. Again, I haven't read the book. I'm planning to start reading this. And I thought what might help both with reading this and, and articles and so on was to additionally listen to the book while I'm reading it. And of course, to listen to the book, I need a text-to-speech engine to, you know, create an audiobook from different documents. I knew there was one in Adobe Acrobat, but Adobe Acrobat hasn't been updated for Linux in some time. The Adobe Acrobat version that has text-to-speech capability is just in Windows. So I went ahead and I did a search for text-to-speech PDF readers in Linux. And I look through, you know, as you can see it in purple here, a number of different Reddit questions asked about this and ask Ubuntu. And amongst these, the one that was most helpful was, was this question. And I tried several options here. One was Ocular, which is the KDE document viewer, which can read out a document if you install KMouth and Jovi. I tried this, but the voice was not very pleasant to listen to. It was just, you know, kind of, I, I'm not going to play it, but it sounds like a deck talk, which uh, Stephen Hawking initially used. It's just kind of, kind of difficult to follow, and without good inflection and, I guess, uh, pauses at punctuation marks. I also listened to Orca Screen Reader, and that was the exact same voice as, as Ocular. Um, I think I wasn't able to install KMouth and Jovi, so I had to use Pico TTS. But anyway, the, the uh, voice quality was, was not very good. And then finally, someone suggested using the extension Read Aloud on Chrome. I use Firefox, as you can probably tell from you know looking at the top of the window here. And I was very happy to find out that there's also a Read Aloud extension for Firefox. So again, just to go back, Ocular is the KDE document viewer. I tried that out and didn't have good luck. Uh, so I installed Read Aloud, the Firefox extension. When I open up the page about the extension here, you can see a little information about it. You can see it's released by LSD Software. It is ranked four stars, which is really good. There's 81,400 something people who've installed it. There's 700 reviews. You can see a screenshot and you know I'll, I'll show you the, the box that pops up with rewind, fast forward, pause or play and stop. Uh, you, you get all of that from, from the read aloud icon up in your what would you call that? A, a bar with the address bar with extensions to the right and what's nice is it has this pop-up that I'll show you that highlights what's being read to you. That's, that's really, really nice. I'll go ahead and close that. I'm just going to go a little bit further through the introduction to uh, read aloud here. It supports PDF, it supports EBUB, so you can listen to eBooks, you know, convert those into de facto audiobooks. There's, you know, a few flaws in, in how how the text seems to be recognized, at least for a PDF. For an ebook, I don't think you'd have an issue. It works on, I've tested out, works on a lot of websites, ironically not this one, but will work on news sites, you know, blogs, publications, all sorts of pages. This is, I think, the key thing here. It's aimed at users who would rather listen to content instead of reading it, or listen while you're reading it. That's, that's you know, where I, that's that's you know the category I'd fall into. People with dyslexia or other learning disabilities, kids learning to read, or just people who want another way to consume web content, which I guess I also fall into. 
You get a number of different text-to-speech voices. Unfortunately, not all of these are freeware. There's default Google voices, and I think a specific read aloud uh, default I could show you. But Amazon, IBM, and Microsoft, I think you need to spend extra to get those. And this is just a little bit about the options. I might pull up uh, read aloud options here. I'll click the gear option. You'll notice I can't, ironically enough, I can't read out the information on the extension. You can auto select voices. See there's read aloud generic voice, a bunch of different languages, uh, Google Translate voices. The default I think is like Google Translate uh, English in here. And that sounds, sounds quite good. Um, there's Amazon voices that are premium. Again, all these you would have to pay for. Microsoft, I guess not IBM. I haven't actually considered enabling custom voices. I'll might look that up further. Oh, there you go. See, if you wanted to add in Google WaveNet voices, IBM Watson, Amazon Poly, I guess you have to pay for these credentials. Uh, let's see what else here. So I'm not going to, anyway, so that was voice. Um, yeah, maybe you didn't see that, that those those um, labels or different things. I, I, I'm not going to just speed and pitch since that will sound kind of strange. It's kind of funny sounding. You can show text highlighting in a pop-up or a separate window. Um, I'll go through another page in a second. Okay. And before I test this out, I'll just point out that uh, there's articles that suggest other text-to-speech add-ons. I still think I like read aloud amongst these others, although it's not completely freeware. I mean, there's part of it that's freeware, and then part, as you saw, that's shareware. I think that's just dependent on having to pay for the use of those cloud computing-based based voice synthesis engines. And I mean, the first one they recommend is, is read aloud here, and I guess that's really good. There's also Intelligent Speaker, which lets you pick out different articles and then save them and come back and have those played back for you. Talky, but that needs, also requires a subscription to change the pitch and speed of talking voices, which isn't too good. Text-to-speech apparently lets you open up stuff outside of the browser, which is pretty nice. And let's see, TTS Fox down here that comes out as a separate pop-out window. I guess not, not too, too exciting. And also apparently this has fewer voices. Uh, let's, you know, listen to this with some text-to-speech here. Let me go back and... The five best text-to-speech add-ons for Firefox by Jack Ryan. Okay. Let's just do a test. That, you did hear that article. Read Aloud is a Chrome and Firefox extension that uses text-to-speech technology to convert web page text to audio. It works on a variety of websites, including news sites, blogs, fan fiction, publications, okay, so that's the textbooks, generic voice. school, and course materials. And let's go back to the... Um, the five best text-to-speech add-ons for Firefox. Bye. Auto select, and this is the G Google Translate uh, voice. Another Read aloud voice. is a Chrome and Firefox extension See, that's that very, uses text-to-speech technology to, to convert web page text to audio. It works on a variety of websites, including news sites, blogs, fan fiction, publications, textbooks, school and course materials. Okay, so let's hear this in action. Let's play this. The page. five best text-to-speech add-ons for Firefox. By Jack Ryan, published May 5th, 2022. Whether you use text to speech for accessibility or convenience, it's hard to find the feature everywhere online. So, here are five Firefox add ons. So, you can see that the text that's being read out is, is highlighted, as I mentioned, and you'll see the text on the page progressively scroll as it's reading. So you can imagine how useful that is. You know, you can read in the box and hear the same thing read out to you and you know that can help you, you know, process an article a bit better. I'll just show you. Readers you know, like you help that. support you MUO. When you make a purchase using links on our site, we may earn an affiliate commission. Read more. If you ever get tired of reading while you browse, prefer to multitask or even just process information better when you hear it. Then text to speech is an incredibly powerful tool that can help you to achieve all of the above. 
It can also help those with visual impairments, making it a vital feature. Yeah, there you go. Let me go ahead and stop that. And then go to this PDF, and I'll show you that it also works on... Okay, so I might have to upload this and pick out that document. And now I should be able to listen to it. Contents to contents. Overview V list of illustrations XIV words of thanks. Okay, so it's it, there's obviously you know you can see it, one issue there is it's not converting V triple I to eight and then fourteen and nineteen. So you know you have to put up with some of those glitches. Let's take a look here. At, Part you know, one. Jeb introduction. Uh, here, stop. Uh, this page. Overview IV overview. Part one. Jeb. Introduction, a musicological offering. The book opens. So notice instead of saying GEB, it said Jeb. That's, you know, also, you know, there's imperfections with the synthesis, but, you know, you can see how it helps. It with the story of Bach's musical offering. Mm -hmm. Bach made an impromptu visit to King Frederick the Great of Prussia and was requested to improvise upon a theme presented by the king. His improvisations formed the basis of that great work. The musical offering and its story form a theme upon which I improvise. Through okay, so so I, I just want to point out that at periods and commas and semicolons, there is appropriate pausing for emphasis, and that's a really nice feature of this, this voice. About the book, thus making a sort of metamusical offering. Self-reference and the interplay between See, different levels. See, there's another example. Okay, so that is the overview I wanted to give of Read Aloud, this Firefox text-to-speech extension. I plan to use this to enhance not just reading of, of Go to Lecture Block, but, you know, just articles online. I think that's, that's helpful for understanding them better. And if you have other thoughts about, about Read Aloud or other text-to-speech extensions or programs you'd recommend, let me know in the comments down below. And like and subscribe as always. So thank you again for watching.